And now, please welcome to the stage from the United States Army Band, Swamp Romp.
Thanks, everybody. Happy Mardi Gras. How you doing? All right, my name is Graham Breedlove. I'm originally from Lafayette, Louisiana, so our job tonight is to take you back to my homeland, and you never have to leave your seat here or in the Kennedy Center, so it's a pleasure to see so many people out here. We hope you have fun with us tonight. We are from the United States Army Band. This is called Swamp Romp, and uh, we were founded a little over 20 years ago by uh, myself and a friend of mine named Harry Waters. We both uh, met in Louisiana and decided we wanted to bring Louisiana up to D.C., so... Since we can't cook for y'all, we're gonna play some music for you tonight. So the first thing you heard was, uh, in, okay, there. <laughs> the first thing you heard is something you hear a lot this time of year down in Louisiana. It's called the Second Line, or Joe Every's piece. And uh, you also hear it a lot in the fall in the Superdome at Saints games. After the Saints uh, score a touchdown, they actually play that, which is pretty cool. So, and if there's any Skins fans in the audience, a touchdown is when your team pushes the, your, the ball over. Sorry. All right, that was cheap. All right, so we're gonna continue with something that we like to dedicate to all of our wives. This is entitled, It Ain't My Fault.
Thank you very much. It ain't my fault. And whoever yelled, yes, it is, we heard you up here. Whoever said that? <laughs> On the trombone from Belleville, Illinois, that's Aaron Eckert, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Eckert. On the piano from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, James Collins. On the drums from Longmeadow, Massachusetts, Eric Purs. And getting us started on the baritone saxophone from Stafford, Virginia, Dustin Mollick. All right, the next thing we're gonna play for you guys is a, a chart I wrote a few years ago. I had a dream one time that Stevie Wonder didn't actually grow up in Detroit. He grew up in New Orleans and he was playing in a brass band, you know, like the Dirty Dozen or Rebirth or Soul Rebels or something like that. And uh, his uh, landmark record, Songs in the Key of Life, and there's a whole bunch of hits that came out of that record. I'm actually not even sure if this is on that record. But anyway, this is one of Stevie Wonder's biggest hits, and I've, I've always loved this tune. I think everybody likes this tune. But uh, imagine if Stevie Wonder was actually from, you know, Bourbon Street or something like that. And uh, this is our version of his, of his great hit, I Wish. And uh, to sing it for you guys, you're in for a special treat. We have a really dear friend of ours. She's originally from Raleigh, North Carolina, and she's just wonderful. You're going to love her. She was back celebrating Mardi Gras in Raleigh last weekend, so we just got her back in town. We're so happy she's here. Please welcome Crystal Reams to the stage. <laughs>
James Collins on piano. very much. Hey, Stevie Wonder could be from New Orleans, maybe, right? That could happen. Yeah, maybe. Crystal Reams, everybody. Thank you. And on the tenor saxophone from Miami, Florida, Xavier Perez. Hey, uh, Graham, what do you call a, a, a hamburger from New Orleans? A French quarter pounder. Good? 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 Oh. See, I can't get anything. So uh, just, a, just a little bit about this next song. Um, uh, it's recorded on the Swamp Romps last CD, I believe. Um, but I want to tell you just a little bit about this gentleman right here. He's a little bit humble. Um, years back when uh, Katrina hit New Orleans, um, he organized a trip to go down. And uh, a few of us, actually two of us who are still here, that shows how old he is, um, went down and... Uh, we're, ha we're able to build a, a musician's village. Um, so when we came back, you know, there's always that feeling of nostalgia. And I learned a lot about the people and the place there because of this young man right here, um, Grand Breed Love, and um, his love for the city. So a lot of that is uh, present in this next song that I think you'll recognize. <laughs>
what it means to miss New Orleans and miss her each night and day. I know I'm not wrong, the feeling's getting stronger the longer I stay away. It's the moss-covered pines, the tall sugar pines, where hummingbirds used to sing. I'd like to see that lazy Mississippi hurrying home to spring. one thing more I miss the one I care for more than I miss New Reagan Bruff on the bass, everybody. Reagan Bruff. All right, so how many of y'all, you have to be like a real Mardi Gras New Orleans insider to know who Roland Bird is? Anybody know who that is? What if I told you he really went by the name Professor Longhair? Y'all know him, right? All right, if you're from New Orleans, we just call him Fess. So this is uh, a very uh, appropriate tune. This is one of Fess's biggest hits. This is Mardi Gras in New Orleans.
Crystal Reams, everybody. Crystal Reams. And I got the horn line on tape dancing. Yes. All right, the next thing we got for y'all. Y'all know that tune, Bourbon Street Parade? Everybody knows that, right? All right, so that was actually written by a drummer named Paul Barberin. And um, this is another one of his lesser known tunes, but we play it a lot in New Orleans. It's actually the same, if, for you, if you're a musicologist out there, same chord changes except it's in the key of F. And this time we're going to play it instead of 4-4, four, four, we're going to play it in 7. So, you know, if you're keeping score at home. And uh, I'm not sure how much you have to love yourself to put your name in the title, but this is called Paul Barberin's Second Line. Thank you. 
I believe when we were in New Orleans, they'd say this. Just a bowl of butter beans. Oh, yes. Pass the hot sauce if you please. Mm, I can taste it right I'm looking for. Just a sweet bowl of butter beans. All right, now. Take it from the ground. Come on.
Thank you. All right, our time is almost up, but we got time for one more. And you probably know what it is if you ever spent any time in New Orleans. It's kind of like uh, the South Louisiana National Anthem, if you will. So before we get out of here, though, I'll tell you that we are part of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone from right across the river. And thank you. <laughs> Roughly 250 men and women in the United States Army Band Pershing Zone, and we together present about 6,000 concerts a year, performances of one type or another, and we'd love to see you at every single one of them. So how do you do that, you might ask. You go to usarmyband.com on your Google machine, and you get a schedule there. You'll see all the different groups we have in the building. You can catch us just about anywhere you want to see us. So we hope to see you at all of those. Before we get out of here one more time, how about it for Crystal Reams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> on the piano is James Collins. Aaron Eckert on the trombone. Xavier Perez, tenor saxophone. Baritone and soprano saxophone, Dustin Mollick. On the drums is Eric Purs. On the bass, Reagan Bruff. Special thank you to our audio technical people back there, John Seip and May Duarte, Greg, Rebecca, everybody here from the Kennedy Center. Thank you very much for having us. We hope to see you again sometime. My name is Graham Breedlove. You guys have been wonderful. Have a great night. <laughs>